At $573,000 a year, this New York boarding school for kids on the autism spectrum promises a luxe experience. Round the clock care, beautiful dorms, an equestrian stable, among other things. The school accepts kids who have been rejected from other schools because of their complex needs. But the for-profit school is not approved by the state of New York, and no state agency oversees Shoboke International School. So officials don't know who's working at the school, whether money is being spent properly, or if the curriculum is appropriate for students with disabilities. Still, the school operates with public money. A bunch of states and school districts from around the country have used taxpayer money for students to go there. ProPublica revealed that those same school districts failed to monitor the students' welfare and that Shrubo hired people with criminal records. In the last year alone, two workers were criminally charged for abusing students. One case has been dropped and the other is ongoing, but the worker has pleaded not guilty. Many of the students require a dedicated aid for 16 hours a day, and Shrubo touts its expertise with students who need constant care. The school struggles to maintain enough workers, especially after school and on weekends. Police records detail young people swallowing aluminum foil, plexiglass, diapers, and their own feces, putting their heads or fists through windows, and running away as recently as late March. In February 2023, Brett Ashinoff, an 18-year-old with autism from New Jersey who weighed just 95 pounds, called his mother crying. He had been taken to a padded room and physically restrained, which had never happened at any other school he had attended. Before the confrontation, Brett's parents were already concerned. We know from records that he had stopped sleeping, wasn't given his medicine five days in a row, was losing weight, his nails weren't being cut, and his speech therapy was reduced because of limited staff. When his father tried to report suspected abuse to several state agencies, each one recommended he try someone else, and every agency said the same thing. They didn't have jurisdiction over the school. The failures of oversight at Shrub Oak come at a time when more young people are being diagnosed with autism, and school districts and families are desperate for help educating them. To read more about Shrub Oak and the family who founded it, check out the link in bio.